you so much for joining us here at FF News' coverage of the Banking Renaissance event. How are you doing? I'm doing good. So far, so good. Amazing. Now, Luke, could you tell our viewers a bit about your role and which organization you operate at? Yes, I'm uh, part of Google, Google Cloud organization. And within that organization, I'm looking after some major banks here in the Netherlands. So basically, I'm the banking lead, showing them innovation, what can be done with our technology, basically. I can imagine having Google as a partner enables a lot of banks, big and small, to really be able to operate in today's climate, right? Correct. So if you look at the small bank, or big banks by now, think yeah. of Revolut. Yeah. They use our infrastructure to grow, and the traditional uh, big banks, HSBC, Deutsche Bank, and also some banks in the Netherlands, are using not only our, uh, it's multi-cloud nowadays, they're using our uh, cloud environment to either grow in, in the data area, AI area, or just with workloads, moving it from on-prem, modernize the workloads into the cloud, basically. Fascinating. Now, you know, how do you actually look to work with organizations and financial institutions? There's such a regulated industry. Do you look to partner with organizations that can help you then get access to loads of different financial institutions? How's the ecosystem for Google? Yeah, definitely a, a big ecosystem and the regulator plays a major uh, important role. So we're also partnering with the regulator, you yeah. can imagine. Yeah, cool. And we're helping banks in regulatory reporting. Yeah. Think of liquidity risk. Think what you can do if you have so much compute power like yeah. Google has got. So we can help them, you know, in all these, helping them in the set one ratio, helping them calculating their market risk position, their early warnings. There are multiple examples what we are doing with small banks, big banks, medium, but also the tier one banks. Tremendous. Now, let's drill down into what can cloud computing really enable banks to do now, and what will it be able to give them in the future? Oh, there, there is so much going on in that, uh, that specific area. Um, what you can do with cloud computing is fast speed, agility against a reasonable price. I wouldn't say it's super cheap compared uh, to your current, you know, probably old, older data centers, yeah. but it, it, the cloud makes it possible to scale up very uh, easy, very simple, towards a, a reasonable price. And if you look at uh, what it also enables is really the capabilities of the data side and the AI capabilities. You don't have to invent the wheel yourself. You don't need like thousands of uh, very clever data science guys. You, you can make use of the power of, of Google since we're in there for now, what is it, 23 years in that uh, data uh, arena. You can imagine we have eight applications with more than one billion users. So we, we, oh, got, wow. we got quite some knowledge I about what's going on. <laughs> Amazing, now we've talked about scale, but uh, one technology I want us to really focus on before we leave you is automation and artificial intelligence. How does Google leverage your incredible data systems, your incredible cloud computing technology to enable banks to use this technology, AI, more effectively? Let me, let me start with, for instance, Giving examples, conversational AI oh, yes. is always a good topic. All the banks are looking, how can we help customers in a better way, a customer experience, without having the cost grow through the roof with a one-on-one -on -one experience. So that's definitely an area where AI comes in. What you see with dialogue flow, the, the way you interact with your customers, from a, a chat perspective, but also conversational chat. And we all use those, those nice devices as a phone, but nowadays, you know, the phone is used again for voice. If you see the natural flow of an interface, it used to be client, command line interface, then Microsoft came, 95, Windows, and it was um, graphical user interface, and now it's NUI, the natural user interface. Use your voice again. With AI, it identifies, hey, it's you. Can I transfer money? Make it simple, you know? Can I transfer money to my, my, my daughter? Yes, fine. What's the amount? Boom. And then it's done. You don't have to go this. Identification is done with your voice. Just giving one or two examples. It's incredible to know what's going to come out of artificial intelligence and therefore banking. Now, lastly, let's look to the future. Yo, Google and banking, are you ever content just enabling these banks, building these banks? Are we going to see Google dip your toes into the banking scene? Tell me more. No. We're, uh, as far as I know, perhaps above my pay grade, but 
we're not planning to do anything in banking. Banks are the big customers of Google. Eh? Even in the advertising space, you can imagine, but also from a Google Cloud perspective. Eh? That's, that's an area where there is a lot of spend in IT. So we, are never, we don't want to compete with them, but rather work together as a partner with them and jointly grow into the market. Amazing, I, you can see that across the whole fintech industry. Definitely. And I think that's a really good model. Thank you, Luke, it's been such a pleasure meeting you. I hope you have a lovely rest so. of the day. Thank you. Thank you.